Good morning, Jesus. And thanks for watching over me last night, Lord. Thank you for this day of life you've given me today. And Lord, I offer it back to you. It's my gift to you. For your will to be done in my life today. For your glory and your service. I lift up to you my brother Anthony and his wife Ronald and all their family. Judy and I and all our family. Mark and Dan and all their family. Uh, Mal and all his family. Benny and all his family. The new gentleman I met yesterday at the hospital. And all his family and church. And uh, all his other people he knows. I lift up all the souls you've created, Lord. And ask for a special blessing designed by you for each one. And I ask this all in Jesus' name. Okay, Lord. Get some inspiration today. Can't have enough. Could never have enough inspiration. And uh, today's words are this. I love you with an everlasting love. The human mind cannot comprehend my constancy. Your emotions flicker and falter in the face of varying circumstances, and you tend to project your fickle feelings onto me. Thus, you do not benefit fully from my unfailing love. You need to look beyond the flux of your circumstances and discover me gazing lovingly back at you. This awareness of my presence strengthens you as you receive and respond to my love. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let my love flow into you continually. Your need for me is as constant as the outflow of my love to you. The Bible support for these words were from Jeremiah 31, verse 3, Exodus 15, verse 13, and Hebrews 13, verse 8. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Great inspiration, huh? Always there. Same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> Love the, uh, the human mind cannot comprehend its consistency. So we shouldn't even try, because he's already saying here, the human mind can't, com can't think of it. Okay, our circumstances, we, you know, if we're very joyous, oh, thank, thank you, God. You know, if we're very sad, oh, God, why don't you do this to me? You know, we, we jump back and forth with our emotions. And, uh, but he's saying, thus you do not benefit fully from my unfailing love. So, he's saying, whatever the circumstances, look beyond them and see him gazing at us with his loving stay. He's there. We just got to practice it. Tough one. Because we're human. And we're in this flesh body. And it's a tough one. But it can be done. And uh, you just have to take the different circumstances you fall into and practice what he's for the same here. All right, let's do another inspiration. Here's a good one. They're all good. <laughs> I keep saying that, but for me, that's the truth. Okay? I don't know how you feel or how somebody else feels, but I know how I feel. And it's great peace in reading these inspirations or reading the Bible or just talking about Jesus or just thinking about Jesus. I don't even have to be reading something. Um, <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Here's some more words. Rest in me, my child. Give your mind a break from planning and trying to anticipate what will happen. Pray continually, asking my spirit to take charge of the details of this day. Remember that you are on a journey with me. When you try to peer into the future and plan for every possibility, you ignore your constant companion, who sustains you moment by moment. As you gaze anxiously into the distance, 
You don't even feel the strong grip of my hand holding yours. How foolish you are, my child. Remembrance of me is a daily discipline. Never lose sight of my presence with you. This will keep you resting in me all day and every day. And Bible support for these words from 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17, and Psalm 62, verse 5. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And we can read another and another. It's a great book, Jesus Calling. Uh, it's by Sari Young. She has other books out too. And, uh, of course, we all have the Bible. And, uh, there's so many other books, great books. Um, I've read uh, God Cone. That was the first book that came into my possession after I met the Lord. I read that for a long time. And then the Lord kind of put me into this one called Jesus Cone. And, uh, There's uh, oh, so many. I could I could sit here and name, mention them, and I I don't read a lot. I, we do a Bible study on Monday nights, which I enjoy immensely, and uh, I read this every day. My wife reads God Calling also every day. Now she's reading, which is blessing. Thank you, Jesus, and. Uh, That's uh, basically thinking about Jesus, working with Jesus every day. I do the video every day. And uh, we put this uh, quote from this, I call it The Way, and it uh, goes up on the bulletin board every day, and I found out that a lot of people read it. So his word is going out to others, and I got to be the branch that brought that to people. Thank you, Jesus. I know. Yeah, thank Jesus for everything. Okay, everything. Got a new hat made. Yeah, I like the bigger Jesus on <laughs> I had a little Jesus, but I like the big Jesus. He's very big. He's everywhere. I was in the elevator yesterday, and uh, one of the maintenance guys from the building, of course, he's, I see him pretty much every day, and he was asking me, he says, oh, well, what church do you go? I says, we're in church right here. People get up in the morning, they go to church on Sundays. They go in to worship the Lord, which is the thing they should do. Support the pastors or the priest that's saying the Mass or giving the sermon or whatever they're doing. You know, it's the word of the Lord. They're trying to encourage people. And uh, and then they walk out the door of the church. And I think too many of them just, you know, now this is the world and that's Jesus and God. But see, thing that some of them miss, I think, is Jesus is walking right out there with them. <laughs> okay. Jesus didn't do his miracles always in the synagogue. Jesus did his miracles in the world. That's where his father was. Because his father owned it all. <laughs> Praise God, huh? God walks with us every day. He's inside us. He walks along outside us. He goes before us. He's behind us. He's on top of us. He's underneath us. He's everywhere. <laughs> You're not going to get away from him. You know? But he gave you free will, and he's not going to step on your free will, so you can do whatever you want to do. You know? That's the way he's set it up. We can either be, we can either follow him or just follow ourselves. Follow him and we have life because he is everlasting life. And if we follow ourselves, he perishes away. Because everything perishes outside of Jesus. That's been said from the beginning of, when things were beginning to be written down. You think about it, in Jesus' time, the people didn't have Bibles. They didn't have all these churches. You know, even they had synagogue, they had a temple. You know, they had their homes. That's where they met. They had a meal. They broke bread. They had Christian, you know, fellowship. 
Not a pure virgin, but we've gotten so far away from that. You know? We shouldn't. But, hey? It's God's plan. It's His movie. We're just the actors. Some of us are bad actors. We choose not to act. <laughs> the way the director says. <laughs> but I'm learning that, you know, you can't you can't force people. You shouldn't force people. People have to choose the Lord on their own. You can ask him, you can try to encourage him, you can do all kinds of things like that. And those are good things to do. But people still have to make the choice themselves. <laughs> yeah. And even, uh, you know, if they you know, they can't see, a lot of people just, you know, they are so blocked off from it, they don't see Jesus. He's there, standing right beside him, right inside him. Loves us with an unconditional love. It's a pretty big word, unconditional. No conditions to his love. You don't have to do anything. Unconditional love. But you also have to, in that unconditional love, to get that unconditional love. There are things you have to do. And that's what people don't get. But you keep saying it, you keep trying to be the example as 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 best we can. And if we follow the Lord and listen to the Lord and do what the Lord says, we'll become better and better examples. Stronger and stronger branches that can work for the Lord. That's it. Okay, everybody have a great day. Remember, this is a day the Lord has made. It is your gift, so unwrap it carefully. Watch the blessings and look for the blessings. They're there. The trials always come wrapped in blessings. If you see them, if you're looking for them, if you're not looking for them, the trials are going to bring you you're going to fester up anger, hatred, bitterness, all those things, and many more. And that's what the trials do. The devil likes that. He likes that stuff. Yeah? Because when you're bitter and angry and that kind of thing, hateful, you definitely aren't thinking of the Lord. <laughs> So look, the only way you can go to the Lord is loving. So you gotta learn how to love. You gotta become as close as you can to Jesus. Close. Okay, as my wife was saying, might be preaching again. So, okay, Judy. I know I might be. <laughs> but that's okay. Hey, have a great day. Lord, thanks for being in my life again. And I always will say that. You as my companion. And uh, I don't always do the right thing. But you know that. You made me. You love me anyway. And you're still trying to shape me and form me into that what you need. And trying to be more cooperative. <laughs> She's a good thing. Okay, have a great day. Brother Anthony, I have your board, I have your stencil, <coughs> all made up. I got to get it to you. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll work on that in the very near future. I'll give you a call. I can drive up there and drop it off because it's a big board. I'm not mailing that one. No. And, uh, and I got the stencil made. And so then you can get shirts, panel shirt, 
I'll give you a pen, and you can order them online or wherever you want to get them. Uh, although, actually, I, they're hard to find. I can find them online. I can get them online, or I can get them at AC Moore in Dartmouth. But the other AC Moors don't carry them. Not everyone carries them, but they're called a rubber dub dub Sharpie pen. It's a laundry marker. And the reason I like them is after I do the put them on the shirt, I can put it in the washing machine. It won't bleed, it won't run. Fades a little bit, but you can reach touch them if you know, people want to, you know, if they get a shirt and they just tell them, it's, tell them what kind of pen, you can retouch them. You know, and uh, I think that's, that's basically. And then the hats are the letters, I'll give you the letters. Have to do that by hand. It's it's a little bit longer, but it it does work. I gotta start getting hats made up because I gave a hat away the other day. Somebody wanted the hat, so I just took my hat off and gave it to them. And they gave me their hat. I told that story. <laughs> I gave them Jesus's name, and they gave me a skull and crossbones. I said, Oh, jeez, thank you, Lord. But anyway, they're a nice person. I hope I see them again because I think they have a deep love for Jesus. And uh, okay, so have a great day, and I'll be back tomorrow. God willing, peace, brothers and sisters. Bye bye.